we're just coming down to a wee bridge, it's only five minutes to the house. Um, we've seen a bit of dipper action here a couple of weeks ago but we didn't film it. So we're just going to check back in and see if there's been any progress on the nest, which you can see there. And it definitely looks like there has been progress on the nest. So I'll carefully work my way over and have a wee look. Try and not drown myself, the burn's a wee bit high. As you can see it's a crack in me, a wee bit. A mossy dome construction with a little entrance underneath. Unfortunately we can't really see if there's anything in there because you can see here it's just the top of the cup. I won't be able to get the camera in because I'm filming on a phone. But um, we'll check back again, see if I can get a different camera that can uh, film it. That was good. Just coming back down to check this dipper's nest. But there was a, a grey wagtail here the last time as well. Never found a nest of that, but we just seen it seen it gone about. A big bridge here. The dipper's nest is just in that. I can't see her gone about. I reckon under that tree root would be the best though, eh? Yeah. Right. I think that would be the best. Nice likely option for her. I'll we'll be thinking about building though, I would think. <coughs> hey. Aye. You might struggle because you're too old. <laughs> right, there's the nest still there, that's a good thing. Oh. Right. Oh, I'll switch my light on in a minute and I'll go over and have a wee look. Four eggs. You can see the wee cups just raised up slightly for the entrance. It's a stunning wee nest. Good size, probably a wee bit bigger than a football. I don't know if we can just see the ed eggs through there or not. Quite a deep cup, lined with uh, leaves as well. So, oh, that's good. We'll get away and let her get back. <laughs> 